Are you religious or spiritual? What, what? Yeah, you can tell, man. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> everybody want to ask me, so what are you? Are you religious or are you spiritual? Which one? You are now watching rhymes and politics. Spit them balls. So you was in the service. Yeah. You, did your, you did your time there, so there was a space before you went to Fordham University? Was it yeah, like a just, gap? That was after, I went to the service before Fordham, yeah. Yeah, so there was like a little time period. Shop, I went to the barber shop after I left the service. Ah, so from the service, barber shop, got Fordham traffic. University. I got, a little bit of, I got into a little bit of traffic and um, was working though. I was working in the shop the whole time. Yeah. Shout out to my, my brother D, man, he, he. So you like a jack of all trades. He saved my life out here, man. Mm -hmm. he, threw, he put the clippers in my hand and yeah. I became a fake legend with the blade. <laughs> now they know, people know, they, they can't mess with me. So I, within this time frame from you being in the service, Barbershop, then Fordham, how many projects came along Yo, the way? Great question, man. Um, the first tape I did was this tape was trash. I'm sorry, people gonna think I'm bashful. I'm just being honest. A lot of rappers don't say their first project was trash. I'm gonna say it because I listen to it now, I cringe. Like, yeah. It's like that I did <laughs> yeah. called Genetics. This it is you, because you learning. Yeah, you learning like, oh, and you developing at the same time. My mother had that, I wanted to break it when she showed it to me. Like, <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure they was proud of they it. Was like, like, yeah, this is my crazy. baby right here. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm like, nah. Um, it's a tape called Genetics. Nobody will ever hear that. Mm -hmm. uh, my first tape I ever did was this joint called 25th Hour Into The Zone. Okay. Uh, where I had the instrumentals playing in reverse on every record with the drums going forward. Oh, shit. That was my first tape ever. Wow. What year so, was that? But you talk about 2010. Really? Nine. Matter of fact, nine is ten, maybe. I'm lying. Way before that, because if we talk about when, 2000, this is 2007. Gotta be, yo. Seven. When seven, did, it, when did a, a miracle came out? Come America out. came out of Fordham, 2013, 14. Okay, so that's later. Well, only built for digital links. When that one came out? What year was that one? That was before America. Right, so that's 2010 like, and nine. That's that's the pocket right, right. there. Yeah, 2009, 10 ish. Yeah, yeah, that's when I saw you, and that was the Tommy Boy blog era. What what late did that come out on Tommy Boy? That that project? That was on, no no no, only built for this one was on Tommy Boy. Yeah. Okay. Tommy Boy, I guess slash. I didn't know Tommy Boy was a subsidiary of Warner Brothers at the time. Oh okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Right? How long you was on that label? Maybe two three years. Really? Yeah, I didn't do. I did one project and I just got so mad. <laughs> I was young and just didn't know. Yeah. The like I said, I didn't know the logistics. How did you even get to that label? Um, what, what, who? Somebody you had a manager at that time? Nah, I signed a deal with was, no manager. I signed two deals with no manager. You was out moving around, networking. No, no. What happened was this. They found you. Somewhat. The internet, the blogs hit it. This dude who was working. His name was Junior, and Junior was heavy on the blogs. Yeah. You know, the, there's you, you know all of the. Anything that was under uh, the new uh, the new music cartel gotcha. at the time, okay. right? So if you was hitting up with two dope boys of this, I think they have yeah. a blog. One of the dudes have a blog called the Blog Era. Yeah. And you had like certain artists that was on at the time. Yeah. Certain dudes would pan out to make their way to the covers of certain, you know, based on politics yeah. and who they knew. Yep. I right? remember it was this. Never, yes. This is the time frame I realized it wasn't based about talent. There's a lot of people that are super or uber talented, but their business is not in order. Right. Their penmanship and their art is in order. Mm -hmm. Skill set out of the world. Yeah. But the the way they operate outside of the studio has been their Achilles heel for their career, right? And I saw that happening, and I said, you know what? Let me get ahead with this. You know. That's good that you right. was receptive yeah. to that to see that to get your business in order. Right. And also, and, and even at that time, I, I'm leaving something out that's important, man. I don't want to do this, Eddie F. From Mount Vernon mm -hmm. around the time. I was on Untouchables for a brief stint. Like, I recorded a full fledged, like, 12, 13, 15 song demo at, uh, at, the, at the Mini Mansion in, in, in uh, close to New Jersey. Oh, shit, wow. Right. So, around that time, it was Donnell Jones. This is after, after Donnell was there, but I remember seeing them on the website. It was me, Donnell Jones, and this girl. I think her name was Asia from out of Texas or somewhere, Houston okay. or, or mm -hmm. Austin. That he was working with. Yeah. But yeah, so EF was taking me around to a lot of events. Probably why I saw you. So EF probably yeah was 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 shuffling me around to a lot of events, introducing me to people as okay. well. Mm -hmm. And for a long time, back to it, that time, I'm gonna loop back and just make uh, that uh, people either thought I was always related to him or <laughs> CL. 
Oh, they really? Thought, they thought I was cousins. They thought we was like, I was like a cousin or a little brother to them. Okay, that makes for sense. For many years. For many years, they thought that. Okay, that and makes I was sense. Like, okay, I, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. But, and, and, and you know, so, so the, and I know we talked about it earlier because I, I don't think I finished it. So the loop back to Pete was yeah. when CL introduced me to Pete at Irving Plaza, it was like a seed plant. It wasn't nothing like he said, whatever. But you talk about 10 years later. So nothing, nothing happened until 10 years. I was just uh, 2016, building that relationship up. 2016, I was at Fordham. I was in grad school or finishing up grad school. And I started to do the whole Peace Beloved thing before the streets tried to. I ain't saying the streets. That was my ego right now getting in the way. The term. Right? See, the, <laughs> the term beloved. Right, the term beloved. It was loaded Lux, myself, and maybe two. I don't really know the other artists that were using it at that time frame. That was, it was part of their vernacular. Right. That was part, I got that you. was their everyday yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Because they thought I was weird when I was saying it. Where I, did you I, pick it up from? It was always peace beloved for me. It was never beloved by itself. Right. I know Lux was running with the beloved and people were like, you and Lux. I'm like, no, nah, that's Lux. Lux do beloved. I'm peace beloved. It's been tatted on my wrist forever. Yeah. <laughs> right? Not forever, but some years now. Yeah. Right. So, but Peace Beloved was always my thing. Like, Peace Beloved was always that. And when people How did you were pick me, that up, though? It be, I was in a barbershop, once again. Everything at the barbershop. Right. Shop. Yeah, everything so, come through the barbershop. I was at shop. the shop. You know, that's the clubhouse for, for the hood. I was at the <laughs> shop, and uh, I remember um, Jamaican Mike, man. He didn't want me saying... I could say they were right. Yeah. He didn't want me saying nigga in his shop too much. Yeah. He said, like, stop using the N-word in my shop. I'm like, nigga, what? So <laughs> I'm like, all right, black man, I right, came. Yeah. I'm start doing all that. I was being funny. Is he 5% or nah, more? No, he more? was just an OG Jamaican. He, he wasn't with it. Okay. <laughs> he was not with it. Yeah. You know the Jamaican dude that wear the, his hamburger meat hanging out with the herring bones on? <laughs> yeah. He wear his barber cape with the wife beater. Yeah. No shirt. Oh, straight Year round. with it. He one of those. <laughs> Sandals on in the winter, going uh -huh. outside, like, but he was smooth. Like, yeah. You know, Mike was always a um, good guy, very fair guy at the shop. He didn't want me, so I had to adapt the way I spoke to get control of the clients, because I had a lot of young clients, you know, high school kids right. and college kids. I'm, you know, if you're the young bar with the fire blade, you attract a certain audience. Exactly. You know, yeah. we know what comes with that. You can get the drug dealers, you can get your lawyers, you can uh -huh. get the doctors, the police. Everybody sit in your chair trying to pick your brain for questions. Oh, gotcha. And I had yep. to learn how to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> anyway, and keep cutting. Like, mm -hmm. you, know, you figure it out. I'm not doing your job. Yeah, because they're going to come for conversation and all right. that. Right. So there's like, this there's like this unspoken, invisible rule of you know, confidentiality with your barber. Exactly. So Mike, I, didn't have, I really didn't have control. And Daryl, my big D from Albany, used to always tell me I never had control of my people. Mm hmm they like, bro, you need to get some control in your chair. I'm like, you talk about, man, I'm just getting money. <laughs> you know, you making 1500 to 2000 a week at that time, cash in your pocket. I was so, I was so full of myself at that right. time, bro. <laughs> yeah. I'm talking about I would buy a 12 white tees at the beginning of the week, put them by my station because I refuse to wear a barber jacket. <laughs> that was me. I was that guy. Wow. Kicks. Tell the dude, sneak dude, you'll bring my kicks to the shop and put them underneath my station. I was that dude. Like, Damn. what was the I thought I was stunned, but I wasn't yeah. doing nothing. <laughs> but the white T flex was real. I definitely uh -huh. was not with them barber jacket. Yeah. He said, well, if you ain't gonna wear a jacket, you have to wear a T every day. I'm saying, no what? What about I'm the cool apron? Not the I ain't wearing none of that. I bought a I come in the shop, pop out a white T. <laughs> it's the irk, it's the irk this man. <laughs> yeah. He'd be like, no what? Well, it's gonna get expensive sooner or later. I said, uh -huh. no, it's yep. not. I'm yep. getting money. Yep. It's five dollars. <laughs> Lunch. Part of doing business. Three for ten. It was three for ten. Right. I'm told this is a part of me doing business. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. I'm not <laughs> wearing no jacket. Call. It's the business process. Yeah. So I would buy white tees to cut in because I, would, I didn't want a barber jacket or a cape, nothing. Wow. He, he said, if you're going to do that, you better, like I said, you better wear a brand new one every day. I said, no, all right, cool. 24 for the month. How many days I'm working this week? So seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. Mm -hmm. You go to come right here to 28th or the 30th. You get, a bundle Fashion for $30. District, yep, a whole dozen. Get 12 a dozen for $25, $30. Yeah. <laughs> I spent $40. I'm up for the month. Yeah. I got a uniform. <laughs> All right. And my personal ones outside of the shop, I may dig in the stage. Yeah, like, yeah. like a white tea stash. <laughs> like I was housing bricks and white teas. Yeah. And, Yo, so, that's crazy. So, yeah. So, for that, man, I, I, I think, you know, the shop itself, that's how it kind of like segued into so the Peace Beloved thing came because of Mike. Okay. And me finding a way to, to greet 
the people that were coming to shop just in bombing everywhere in front of kids, in front right. of their parents. Okay. So it did, it was better for business that I did try to gain some type of recalibration That's of dope. the conversation that was happening in the shop. Mm -hmm. Because I did see how it affected people thought my skill set, not to be, but they know I'm a legend with these things. <laughs> yeah. It's known fact. Some people didn't want to sit in my chair because of the energy yeah. around my chair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. The energy around my chair was. Did you ever play your music in the shop by your station? <sighs> nah, I never. I wasn't that type of guy. Mm, okay. Nobody would say I did that. Nah, you I never wasn't promoted that, yourself? Nah, they was, no, like I remember that? one time, bro, I was on MTV. I made it to Mixtape Daily. Wow. Went back to the barbershop cutting hair. I felt like somebody snatched my Superman cape. It was, it was, in, I don't know if I was embarrassed or if I felt like, why am I You didn't on want MTV? people to know that you was an artist? They knew, but I just never, they, they got to go find it on the internet. Got you. They didn't, I wasn't, I was never soliciting the music. Okay, you try to, try to keep everything yeah, separate. I, which kind of, as you haven't noticed, I've been able to, it became a function of mine. Yeah. Being able to keep things separate and able to grow certain parts of what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So I think that, um, yeah, I never solicited the music in the shop. Now, people, I saw you on the blogs, you know, I saw you. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to play, that was cool. It's yeah. Not, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you, want to, you want to tape up or what? Bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, you got a laid back, <laughs> chill vibe, bro. I love your aura, bro. And, right. it, and it goes in, and it spills into your music, too. You have like a laid back flow, but you still got that <clears throat> ump beat. Um, you also touch on pain. Yes. Um, it's also feel good music. Um, so over time, you, how did you develop to that. incorporate all that mistakes. elements into your sound? Man, mistakes. Yeah. Mistakes that help perfect you, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or if perfection is a, is a goal for some, mistakes that shape skill set. Right. For me, right? I think I started to learn how to embrace that and be like, you know what? Okay, on this project, I didn't sound like I wanted to sound. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm talking about the years I worked with R or the years I got in, 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 in now with, with a Pete, right? Or, yeah. or multiple producers over the years, like um, Shot Books out of Jersey, you do a lot of the Fetty stuff now. Okay. Or I had, it was me, him, and Justina, the girl from Wild. We was in a group together for a second. Really? Yeah. And um, wow. yeah, so we had, so my story, it, it I, but I, because I'm not, I'll joke and, you know, banter with people all day, but they find why he didn't tell me that, because I mm -hmm. feel like, some things is better when you find them out on your own, yeah. in my opinion, because okay. it's, it's not really... So they got their own experience yeah, with yeah. it. Yeah, they be like, oh, he didn't say nothing. Yeah, so it's like, if I told you right now, like, yo, I've been working on Wall Street, would, how many rappers would believe that? Right. But it is a fact, right? Mm -hmm. If I told you I had these accolades or this, your background is a lot more dynamic, Yeah. right? Does it make you rich? Does it make you poor? No, it... You still got to treat everybody with the same courtesy and respect. Exactly. I just feel like those are just titles. And with your titles go, only thing you got left is the respect they have for you, not the title. Thank you, yep. So I'm very, like, you know, uh, conscious of that. Mm -hmm. So I don't, if they don't ask, I don't say. Yeah. Most of the time. But if we, the interview, you know, the art of interviewing, like, and how we become elite at being an interviewee and an interviewer, right? right? Mm -hmm. To create. You know, uh, great conversations via camera in a in a, in a short amount of not t it's not even the time it's the impact of what's said. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You can say something for five minutes to the impact. That's a fact. Crazy than something somebody spoke for two hours. Yeah, that's right? true. So the thing is, um, I watched your, your 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 show and 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 how you 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 scroll through interviews. It's like when I do interviews, I feel like I'm sparring. <laughs> to me, I felt I know it's a mental spar. Yeah. See, so like here, I, I like to keep it, this is a hip-hop community platform, right? right? For This is for the hip-hop culture. I'm a real big fan. I just love hip-hop so much. Yes. So when I get to sit down with dope artists that I was, you know, listening to or following, it's just, it just makes my hip-hop spirit, it just fulfills Yo, my hip-hop spirit. But no, but, uh, so right, when right. I get the Haiti stories and I can right. just pick y'all brain, Bro. I'm happy. So I go about, home happy, like, yo, and I go back and look at the playback, I'm like this, like a kid, like, you know what I'm you saying? Know, it's, it's, <laughs> so it's I want the environment yeah. to be comfortable right. where we can right. just politic and right. kick it, you know what and, I'm saying? But when I say spa, it's not like a, a competition spa. Yeah. It's just a spa, like, you know, some people call it, yo, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. crazy, your hook is crazy, like, it's just like, yeah. so, Look at the cycle of that. 
you we met at that time frame. We talk about a just decade outside later. Outside in front of a, a event, just kicking right. it, pop, chopping decade, it up. A decade now later. Now we're sitting here. Right. right. A decade later, who would have thought that? Now, some people may look at, oh, you're signed to Peter. You work with this producer or that producer. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to, you know, touch on the situation at True Soul because that's yeah, important. Here, right? So True Soul, when he started True Soul and he asked me, he said, during the pandemic, it was like 2000 and I'm going to say 21, 20 oh, around that time. That's when he, he said, started the label? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he might have had it before, but he asked me to come over. Okay. And I'm like, man, Pete, because he, he gave me, he said, yo, come to the crib. I got a, I got some records for you. I went to his house. Mm -hmm. He, CDJ, he, not CDJ, he had like the turntables, and he, he said, yo, he made a CD for me. I said, a CD. But I put the, I put the joints in. And it's your and, first time even working on nah, but, but, he, but it gave me he, Pete gave me beats on Peace Beloved because remember the original Peace Beloved was presented by Pete Rock in 2016. Damn. Right before it was a slang in New York. Peace Beloved. I had already monikered that trade. I, that trademark. I know I had definitely put some legal stuff. Peace Beloved was already a thing. So at that time, he didn't come to you and say like, "Yo, I'm starting this." He Can gave you come me over 12 here? beats, and I was foolish because when he gave me the 12 beats, I didn't know that. He gave me the 12 beats for a project. Oh, shit. I took one beat because it sounded completed, and then I went back with me and Austin and started working on, you know, oh, I didn't no. understand this was his work. Thank so you. I was approached in the kind of slightly at that time in mm. 2016 when he gave me the 12 and said, yo, let's work on a project. Mm, wow. Tell me what you like. If you don't like it, but you know, Pete move at Pete pace. Exactly. If you know him, like, yeah. it's not a bad thing. That's just what. But when he show up, he is he got, he got the he got the guns. Yeah. Like where the guns? Oh, Pete got them. Okay, cool. They had the big ones. Oh, he bought the crazy ones. Mm -hmm. Is that? Mm -hmm. So the beats weren't fully produced, but I didn't know this was him trying to show me his method methodology of how he works. Right. It was a record I did called Superstar. He said, "Well, you like that?" I said, "Yeah." He said, "I just use it." I said, all right, bro, I would hit him up. Yo, I'm about to, do you want to present the project? Yeah, I present it. But in my mind, I didn't know that he wanted to do a whole project because I, I was thinking about getting it now. I need to get this now. He's not telling you this? Or you just, he wasn't, you, you just, y'all just making music, yeah, well, yeah, but yeah, vibing yeah, yeah, with yeah. each other, and you just putting these songs out? Yeah, I put, oh, I put out the joint. And you unsigned and all that not, this time? Not signed nothing at this point, right? I was working, enjoying my time with the Diamond District. Mm -hmm. As far as a big studio I was working with. Okay. I didn't have my equipment at home yet. I bought that equipment in 2016 when Art told me, like, yo, you need to buy some equipment. You're making enough money, but you're bugging. Right. Go get some equipment. I said, you know what? He right. And I went and it changed my life. And, um, but when, he get, when Pete gave me those original joints, I took one. Mm -hmm. Not knowing that these other 11, he was going to go back and add drums instead. It was like loops and shit. I'm like, what is Pete? What the fuck? Yeah. What he doing? <laughs> but I'm, you know, because you, I, I'm, I'm on 71 Hillside. He's on, his house is 77 Hillside. Like, I mean, clearly he's like, 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 he is my eldest, like, big bro. Right. But I had no idea that this was his process. Now I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But at that time frame, because we weren't, vo we weren't too vocal about your take the beat, tell what you think. Yeah. I, I still got the email. I'm trying to say 2000, about 2004. 14, 15, he gave me wow. them drinks. So when he um, presented the opportunity for you to come onto the label, and you the first one, right? Yes, sir. So now you got to set the tone or just... Mm -hmm. um, that will be set for sure. <laughs> yeah, because now y'all doing it right now, bro. Yeah. So that chemistry, y'all already got the chemistry there already. Yes, sir. You know Thank what I'm saying? You. So like... Album was done, if, you, if you're asking. I, said, I can hear it coming. My the man. Al the album is done. What's it called? What's the Dope name Boy. of that? album was called Dope Boy Soul. And that's what I was looking for, too. Because the Dope other Boy one is Soul. 21 Grams. 21 Grams we did. I'm thinking that's the Dope Boy Soul joint, but I'm still I'm gonna looking. Keep it I'm going like, to keep it above with you. 21 Grams is crazy. I didn't realize, like, once again, Pete gave me 20 something. We did, I did 29 records for uh, 21 Grams. He just, but that's like a mixtape, though, right? It's a mixtape, yeah. but it's a mixtape. It's an album, technically. It's all original composition, but he... 
the end of the mixtape for, the, I won't say legal purposes, the but production you know, on it yeah, and stuff right, like that. Yeah, right. Because we wasn't yeah. playing samples. It was like, let's throw it out here. Right. Because it's not on any of the regular DSPs. You got to go find it like on a SoundCloud or yeah. people may have downloaded and put it on their page because, you know, yep. if he samples something and they're going to come for his neck. If exactly. I throw it out, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> him, they're going to try to smoke him. He's a bigger name, him. yeah. They're going to smoke him. I got you. Mm -hmm. So he was like, yo, just. You know, we're going we're gonna to make people familiar with you. So when we did 21 Grams. Um, so that was the first project. The first project. The full project we really did. signed to his label. Yes. Okay. So when he, he, he gave me the 11 beats for the album first. Yeah. I did those. So, Before 21 Grams. Oh, okay. Right. But this is how funny. Then when I did 21 Grams, I had to do the album over. Right. Mm. So... The original 11 records he gave me was supposed to be for Dope Boy Soul. Okay. He said, yo, now we're going to put these to the side. Yo, here goes some more. Feeding, do, um, just feeding. He said, do, he said yo, we're going to do a mixtape. I need, like, just rap over, exact words, rap over everything I give you. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> I said, I got to like it. Yeah, he's he Pete Rock. I don't he think you going to throw no trash. He, no, yeah, but he said, he, said, he said, I don't care if you like it or not. <laughs> just rhyme over this yeah. shit. He said, trust me. I got you. Mm -hmm. So there was a couple beats I didn't like, but they were loops. And I didn't know he was going to add drums to them after the fact. The same mistake I made prior. Yeah. So when I did the joints, I said, yo, it was five left over there. He hit me in FaceTime. I was like, whoop. He said, yo, where them five, six records I gave you? I said, you told me to do what I like. Rhyme over all of that shit. <laughs> yeah. Bloop. I said, oh, shit. I said, I'll I have it for you tomorrow, man. He said, yeah, all right. All six tracks? He'll tell you. He'll, in the comments, if he, in the comments, I did six records in 18 hours and gave it back to him. That's a fact. G Week saw everybody. And I, yeah, I did six records, gave it back. I was so nervous. Right. <laughs> I said, you know what? Because you got to deliver. This is it. I got to deliver this. This man. is your opportunity right this here. This is crazy. Cool. All right. He said, yeah, all right. I mean, tomorrow? I said, yeah, I have to tell you about tomorrow evening. Six tracks. Mm -hmm. God damn. Uh, I mean, so when he, when he presented this opportunity, opportunity to you to come over to the label, what was it going through your mind? Um, well, Arson has told me. Arson has said, buy that equipment. 2017. Mm -hmm. 2020, 21, I had a deal. I was recording that three years with, with G That's Weeks. That's a blessing right there, boy. G Weeks, heavy. I was recording with G Weeks almost at, like over the phone. Like He was an engineer, beats crazy, mm -hmm. hooks crazy, versus we, we created a synergy. Yeah. And um, uh, he was teaching me little tips on how to like get my recording. So a lot of those people hit me, I record myself. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. I don't even like me. And I have friends who got uh, plaques. They'll tell you, a man don't come to my studio. So you're like self-efficient, man. To a degree. Like, yeah. the, I like to produce my vocals, I guess they call it. Okay. Right? I don't like being, I, I want my own mic, my own spit on it. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't, <laughs> yeah. you know. You know so I'm, even when you, like, working with um, Pete Rock, y'all in the studio together? Yes, doing everything. Pete, so because So he, you can put your input in, like, as far as, like, your yeah, vocals Yeah, but he's going to Pete Rock you. You know, he's going to rock you. He's going to tell you, like, yo, for the album... He said, um, I call it, like, when he, he go, I call it, you know, Mr. Miyagi, I call it Pete Yagi. Yeah, <laughs> that's fire. Try to Pete Yagi me, man. <laughs> that's like, fire. So, uh, so, um, you like that? That's you, you want to roll with that? All right. You sure? Because, you know, I mean, it's, 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 your, it's your project. I mean, it's, you like it? <laughs> but he be fucking with me. I'm like, Pete, come on, shit, fire. Like, yeah. But I'm saying, I don't, all right. Then he'll start touching it. Mm -hmm. And then when he changes it, you like it more. Yeah, yep. So I just fell back. You know, I don't, Let it's do like, what he like, do. like with Dre or Pete, you don't, I'm thankful that I, I do have input. He definitely respects my ear. Right. And just for production, he mm -hmm. says, you know, I pick the right production for my voice, but that was the reason why those 11 records were like a, a trial error, as I said before, because right. he gave me those 11 records because he, he said, I didn't sign. He said, I missed 10 million people I could have signed, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easily. I could have signed anybody right. that, that was willing to work with me, that want to make some music music. He said, but 
A lot of dudes can rhyme and got skills. Uh, uh, of course, we know a lot of dudes that are nice. Yeah. That may be lyrically uh, out of this world and alien vibes with it. Mm -hmm. But it was the vocal texture. Exactly. He said, I signed you because of the vocal texture on my production. Mm -hmm. And yep. it matches my production perfectly where it's I'm at right now. perfect match, yeah. I didn't hear that. And we was in Berlin like last year or it was last year. He said, we was in the airport. He said, yo, man, don't let nobody tell you that you ain't. He said, your voice crazy. I've been watching you, like, you know, we, we on tour, so I'm watching, he said, I'm watching you mm -hmm. grow in front of me every night, and just don't ever let nobody tell you that you ain't nice. You guys, I've been doing this for 20-something years, bro, you got it. Yeah, he could tell, he could he see said, it. He said, you got it, yeah. man, just just stay, be patient, but be persistent in your patience. Right. Like, keep working, but understand that you got it. He said, mm -hmm. I'm, your he said, your voice is crazy, man, and it's cutting through live. Yeah. So for him to hear your voice cut through in a live performance, it excuse me, it heightened his, I guess, um, a, not just awareness, but belief in that, that you have something that, that he can, you know, we can both grow from. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's going to be who he is. I'm standing on his shoulders. Yeah. He's still on heavy D shoulders. Yeah, right. right? Yep. So, so if I know what's, I know people are going to compare me to, 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 to CL, regardless, right? Absolutely. Up top. Yeah. There's no way you're getting around Absolutely, yeah. Yo, let me say this back in the show, brother. I was play thinking about that, too. Yep. Let's see. Here he likes son. Yo, this ain't that it. That my mind, too. This ain't I it, said, right? Oh, they gonna, shit. They're going to try you. Yeah. Right? And that was, he'll, Peter, if you ever did interview, I'm pretty sure somebody asked him. He said, I called him three days after I signed him. I said, bro, man. He said, man, shut all that nervous shit out of <laughs> You nice, nigga. Stop. You up here nervous? Yeah. I said, yo, I got to, um, he said, bro, relax. Just rap. Mm-hmm. You got everything, just rap. You're overthinking it, just rap, man. So what can the fans expect from this this new album that's coming? When is it coming out? 2024, hopefully, right? That, that's that's the that's the projection. Because the seven day beloved theory that out. just came out. Mm -hmm. But I got still fresh clip. though. It's still fresh like a month or two. I'm still album. knocking that joint. That yeah, shit fire, seven, B. You know, true soul, you know, you know, he definitely uh when I sent it to him to listen to, and he didn't have too much to say as far as like changes. Yeah. I knew that I was I felt confidence in my growth. Yeah, so you're not locked into just recording on his beats and nah, stuff nah, like that. Nah. You got he, the frames yeah, but, to do but, what you. But he will. He, he definitely. He's definitely particular about what. Yeah. I record on. He's like, yo, gotcha. bro, no, you can't be rhyming on everybody. Yeah, shit, yeah. Because I, yeah. I, I assume he want his label to be a certain right. stature right. out there. You know, right. you got your rock. You had the Rockefeller. They had his the sound. Right. You know the rough. The rough riders had they right. sound. So I guess he want to stay right. in this. Exactly. So you know I mean? and he has a sonic that he, you know, that he wants for true soul, right? right? Mm -hmm. And if you are like one of the true soul, uh, let's say, uh, staple artists, like, right, or I guess a franchise artist that, and people may wonder why this guy, yeah, like what makes him, yeah, so special. He I right, he cool, but <laughs> when they hear these records, they gonna know. They don't, they don't understand by then. Right, yeah. So, like, so oh, nah, the, this makes sense now. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So if, even if they listen to like some of the, 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 the 21 Grams or 7 Day Beloved Theory, you know, byproducts of True Soul, right? Mm -hmm. They were, I've grown exponentially exactly. since these, this time. They yep. thought that was crazy. He knows that. I know that. So we kind of sit back and we listen to the album cuts, you know, with some changes that we're going to make. Yeah. Like, you know, about a couple, add some more. So it's almost finished or you it's still? It's done, but we just got to We're going to add a couple more joints. Touch it up, clean it up yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we'll add right, a couple more joints. Up. That's the plan. Yeah. And, um, you know, he, he feel like he want to apply more pressure with it. I feel the same. Okay. Right? So it's, it's kind of it's kind of, it's kind of one of those things. Yeah. yeah. So, so real quick, y'all just came back from um, tour? Last like some months, it was almost not a, not a year ago. It was like last year almost. But, but okay. no, but we, but you what you've been seeing is the shows in oh, different places. Yeah, okay. I know we just did we did uh, the Rock the Bells uh, joint. I didn't perform on that joint, but mm -hmm. we went. Yeah. Uh, St. Louis was a, was a vibe, and then we do like uh, I know we did Chicago, Detroit. How was the, how's that experience? Just moving around. Was you doing that before you got with P. Rock? Nah, not not not. So not this at is all. a whole new no experience. experience. Yeah, it's a new bro. experience. Yeah, we got a show coming up too, uh, and. Uh, in a couple of weeks, there's an Erica Badu set. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to get off, but I hope I get someone. Yeah. The gun off. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, at least uh, you in the building, you can at least network. Right, 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 right. With the, right. With the, you Absolutely. Know what I mean? with, the, with the people. So, but, but, you know, for him, man, you know, just studying. Yeah. Studying the culture under him. Yeah. Right? You know, and That's with good. him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, it, salute to P Rock, yeah. man. This is a perfect, this is a dope, dope. 
Man. Combo. <laughs> yeah, man. I, mean, I ain't got no words for this, but because it, it sounds so good, man. And y'all just keep doing that. Yo, bro, because you you setting the tone. So whatever artists he bring on after that, yeah, they got to follow suit. Like, you know what or, I'm saying? Or better. Or be better. Yeah. I mean, my, my thing is I want them to be better. Mm-hmm. Because then I could... Damn, okay. all the pressure's on you. You like the first artist on the joint. <laughs> nah, you know what? You know what? That's what I feel. All the pressure's on you, kid. But you know what? Is it pressure? But you're doing good, brother. Pressure You're doing a purpose. damn good job, bro. Or purpose. Yeah. Purpose will always carry you through any pressure. Bro, you're doing a good right. job, bro. Thank you, Keep man. doing what y'all doing, man. Stick it to the script. Are you religious or spiritual? What, what? Yeah, you can tell, man. Everybody, everybody <laughs> want to ask me, so what are you? Are you religious or are you spiritual? Which one? These days, man, I don't struggle with that, but mm-hmm. I think that I'm, I'm more present and purposeful than religious. Mm-hmm. And what that I mean? call it the source. Like, I don't, you know, I deal with the source, man, the energy, man, the, yeah. like what that is. I mean, mm-hmm. we've been told what religion, we religiously tie sneakers. Literally brush our teeth. Mm-hmm. Spirituality, I would probably more lean in that direction. But Me too. you know, Islamically, bro, I, I definitely used to. You know, I took shahada. I've been. I was. You know, that's why I got the name Amir. Right? Okay. You know, yeah. from my my godmother was Muslim. Man. Okay. So, yeah. So, so that's where the Amir comes from. But mm-hmm. people who know, but like some people remember me as a guy with the Kufi in the army. Really? Yeah, I was. I was out. Prostration burnt. Like I was out here, bro. I was, really? I, I was with it. Wow. I was with it. I was, I was, I was, you know, I was with it. <laughs> I was with it. I put, anytime, you know, the, oh, it's time. Make my wudu. Yeah. And give it up right there. Yeah, I was that guy. Wow. Yeah, Yo, you know. Oh, that's what's up, man. Yeah, I was that guy at one point. And I don't know, um, some people, you know, my dean ain't, is, uh, I ain't gonna say strong, it's disciplined. Mm-hmm as it once was, but... It's a real calm. You got a real yeah. calm aura with you, too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but you give it to niggas if you got to, though. I could tell. <laughs> I could tell, bro. But yo, yo, and me and me, I appreciate Love, you, bro, man. This was great, man. I, I, just talking with you, I could do this all day with you, my listen, brother. Man, I, I could come back, man. I know, Absolutely. I know, yo, I know. bro, listen. this your home, man. Please right, come please. back, bro. I will, and I definitely, I know we got some new stuff we dropping. Mm-hmm. Um, I got some new yeah, stuff. so when you do that, definitely drop yeah, by. Definitely Let's set that up. Rounds, man. Yeah. So shout out to you, man. Put me in the loop with that. And what you're doing for the culture. Thank you, brother. Thank and what you're you. doing for artists. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. See, what you're doing, this is important, man. Yes. Like real journalism and media. Mm-hmm. And it's just, you know, the people get the see the inside of the artist, like, you know, right. get the, really get to know the artist, right. you know it's what I'm saying? See the, yeah, they, they can see they get more into they, they, they vibe, God, yeah, yeah. them as a person. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm definitely a jokester. <laughs> I like to laugh, bro, so you, yeah, you I'm know, a jokester all these sure. episodes, you see me laugh, because I'm enjoying right. myself, bro. I'm a real right, man, so. humble person, man, you know what I mean? So, like I said, this is just, this just feeds my hip-hop spirit, man. Likewise, man, I appreciate you, know what I'm saying? you brother. How the brother. How the people can contact you? Oh man, I'm I'm pretty simple these days. I think uh, A M X X R on I G on uh, on Twitter, which is now X, right? Yeah. Twenty <laughs> fifth hour man, number two, number five, T H H O U R M A N. If Vivo give me my channel back, my password back. Damn. It's uh, Amir at Vivo, Amir YouTube, A M X X R T V. Um, Trusso.com, you can find me on there. Trusso NYC dot com and catch, you know, in the in the good in the good fellas from from Trusso moving around, man. And uh, I got a project too that I'm working on. One of my bros, man. I don't know if you want me to say it yet, but I'm you know yeah, go that's ahead. a cooker, that's a cooker, a joint with us coming up. Okay. We cooking a joint. Um Yeah. Yo and um, Yo bro, you keep know, doing what you're doing, man. He got a joint coming out with common. Oh, oh yeah, I saw that. Yeah, that's gonna be that, fire. Yeah, that's a fire. Are you on that? I don't know yet. I don't know. That would be, be nice, right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That'd but listen, be dope. I'm a, I'm a firm believer. One shot, one kill. You know. What I'm saying? <laughs> if I don't make that's... it, I'm still on it. No you doubt. Know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, we here. Yeah. So, um, and a lot of people think you'd be upset about that, but I'm not. I, I, I no. I'm, I'm really, really for everything in time and don't. I'm really for the betterment of, 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 of my bro. Like, yeah. You know, if yeah. you get, get yours, man, because yeah. what's for you will always find you. Right, yeah, exactly. So, I, you know, um, and that's big to me, to see mm-hmm. both of us thrive, and all yeah. of my friends, all of us thrive. Absolutely. You know, people of like spirit, from the tribe, right? Bro, we got your back, bro. Yeah. We got so, your back here, yo. And I appreciate it. So, yeah, and that's it, man. And, you know, find 7 Day Beloved Theory out now, 21 Grams is up. 
Um, I got the Seven Day Beloved Theory uh, little shorts coming up. Me and my, not even laugh. My man SJ, Essa man, who shot fire, who shot. I like these. those. Yeah, he's a genius with the camera. Real man. art. That's Shout real out art to him. too. Yeah, I like my it. man Tibbs. Like my little, I call it the brain. We like the uh, the the the. the like the, the triad of brains, we yeah. always paint me, him, and Tibbs, my so, man. So those like little series, you just doing like poetry yeah. though, for real. Yeah, a, yeah, yo, S, that was all SJ. That was all SJ. He came up with that idea, like, yeah, yo, do it like him. this? Yeah, he said, yo, we gonna do it like this. I thought, yo, he's that nice with the camera. That was, that was small. He's crazy. I, don't, that was I, I got out of his way. Yeah. Oh, that's what you wanna do? Okay, cool, we shooting it. Then, you know, that led to the, 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 the cover of the IAS thing. Which I think tonight they showing it on Bronx Television Network. Uh, oh, okay. That uh, the the, the Seven Day Beloved Theory episodes they've been running them on there. Really? Yeah, around. Uh, so that's been a blessing. Nah, facts. You know, um, that's a good look for you, bro. Yeah, this, and like I said, man, it's, 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 you know, we here, man. You know, man, aka Peace Beloved, yeah. you know, Big Beloved, the, the, <laughs> the original. You know. Yo, rhymes and politics. We sit with a man, man. Make sure y'all follow him and get those. Album, get the albums, man. Seven yeah, Day Beloved, you need get that, that in your get life. That, man. Get, get Trust me. Grams, Seven Day Beloved Theory, grab up the piece. Get everything, man. And yeah. you had the ebook too. I had the ebook too from from a, a, from Peace Beloved, the original piece. Yeah. Beloved. How can they find that though? I think it's attached to the to the to the um the iTunes. Thing. Oh, oh. Just, they hit me. I'll, I'll send it to you. Yeah, hit them up. I'll send it to you. It ain't that. It, it's easy with me, man. And like I said, appreciate y'all for All having me. All the time, me. brother. Appreciate yes, sir. you, bro. Always. Rhymes and politics. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Leave a comment at the bottom, man. We here. Sit with a mid. Peace. Let's get it. <laughs>